Let's look at another long division involving decimals. Example, 16.2 divided by 9. Let's first put it into our long division format. We draw the den, and the dividend, in this case 16.2, goes into the den. The divisor, the 9, goes out front. First, let's look at the decimal. Now, it's certainly true that we can multiply both numbers by 10 and remove the decimal. But, when the decimal is in the dividend, it's not that hard to just leave it in place. Let's give this a try. We look at the first number in the dividend, a 1. Does 9 go into 1? No, 9 times 1 is bigger than 1. So what do we do? Recall that if the first digit in the dividend isn't big enough, we just add another digit. So looking at the first two digits in the dividend, 16. Can 9 go into 16? Yes, 1 times 9 is 9. So we put the 1 above the 6 in the quotient, as we're working with the 16, and 9 times 1 equals 9, goes below the 16, and we're ready to subtract. 16 minus 9 is 7. And we bring down the 2 from the dividend, and we have 72. Can 9 go into 72? Well, thinking back to our times tables, 9 times 8 is 72. So we put the 8 up into our quotient. And 8 times 9 equals 72, and we're ready to subtract. 72 minus 72 is 0. And at this point, we don't have any dividend left. We're done. And we have a 0 at the bottom, which tells us that we don't have any remainder. Last thing. So what do we do with the decimal that we left there? Well, we just push it up into the quotient directly above its position in the dividend. So, our quotient, or answer, is 1.8, and we had no remainder.